What happened here? And where is the merchant we intended to meet? I am a thief, you know. Now, before we go crazy, let's search the house. Invoice for slaves. ruh -ru. 14 healthy male elves, 3 literate, former scribes and bookkeepers set aside for C. Maybe that's Corpheus. Five healthy male humans deduct 20 from one of the missing hand. Ten healthy female elves. Seven healthy female humans. Two liberate, uh, literate set aside for C. Payment 350 sovereigns paid in full plus 150 sovereigns down payment for next month's shipment. Mm. An invoice for a shipment of slaves. A Tavinta slave. Letter to Slaver, Z uh, Zagger. Cancel the order for more field workers. Get me scribes, library, s library slaves, the smartest you can find. You have to be able to read and write. Former runaways are fine, so as long as they were clever about it. Uh, this venatory leader, Calaprinia, is paying a fortune for our best and brightest stock. Deliver her personally. Don't ask me why. Oh, one other thing. Don't send any with braids or whip marks. We had a couple of braided slaves in the last shipment, and her people sent the couriers back with burns on their faces. Uh, they said Caprina doesn't like taking kindly to damaged stock. Strange tick for a magister. But her gold it is good Vicinius enough. It seems Vicinius angered Calpurnia by sending her mistreated slaves. She was paying a fortune for literate slaves. But she has the Venatori. Unless... Calpurnia has something she wishes to hide. Come on!
Holy crap, a Ruski on that one. A Vinatory Cipher. Needed that. Message Fragments. Needed that. Outstanding. Some more message fragments, perfect. Great, we finished that one quest just right here, awesome. Charred notebook. The charred notebook contains accounts, details of shipment routes, cargo manifests, and lists of contacts, all stuffed together in the, the latest entry reads, remember, sees people arriving tomorrow to discuss new shipment. Must bring up incident with our last courier being branded. Uh, losing profits to keep them quiet. Good customers, but she's bleeding us dry. Ask for compensation. Remember, find a bottle of good ginseng, red for the meeting with the Inquisitor. Should be memorable. Oh well, so much is that dead. Uh, I see Calpurnia sent Venatori to deal with him. Let's look around. Let's find the pieces. Here's another one. The crystal's whole again, but hold on. Lady Calpurnia, I had no intention. I warned you of consequences should the slaves you bring me suffer in your care. Venatori, show him my displeasure. No, wait, wait! What was that rubbish? That speech came from the crystal. Dagna may make something of it. Well, that was brutal. Your trip to the merchant's home yielded results. Before she became leader of the Venatori, Calpurnia was a slave from Minrathus. Even slaves with magic are treated unkindly in Tevinter. If Corypheus freed her, no wonder she follows him. She must believe freedom will reign under Corypheus. Perhaps. Calpurnia has freed every slave she's purchased. Vicinius tracked his shipments. My agents will investigate. This may lead us to Calpurnia's lair. In the meantime, speak to Dagna. The crystal you found on Vicinius fascinates her. Shit. Run around. This is an amazing find, Inquisitor. The Shaperid and Orzammar had something like it. Greetings to you too, Dagna. They preserve voices, or a likeness. Memories, you know? You don't know. It doesn't matter. The Venatori cracked it, but here... These documents you found, Inquisitor. I've made interesting... Discoveries. 
have the fear of demons. But the power will draw them unless you have wards against possession. Once you have become the vessel, demons will be beneath your concern. Prepare as I have directed. I shall, Elder One. The crystal couldn't take any more. Wasn't meant for this. Damn. That looked like Corypheus and Calpurnia. It was a memory stored in the crystal. No. That was vital information. Did you see Calpurnia's expression? Their alliance may be less than harmonious. Uh, what vessel? Uh, Corypheus said Calpurnia was going to be a vessel. A vessel for what? They spoke of power and demons. But Calpurnia is already a magister. Corypheus must have some other plan. Dagna, again? Well, I'm no shaper, but I might be able to get it to remember new sounds. Really? If we hid it among Calpurnia's belongings, imagine what we could learn. <sighs> I can split it and keep half here. We could hear her speaking right then. It's not how they're supposed to work, and it'll probably break. As I said, I'm no shaper. Inquisitor, Calpurnia's Venatore have been digging up elven ruins. Tracking them might lead us to her. If this crystal were placed in a lair, I cannot overstate the value of what we might learn. Why not attack Calpurnia head on? You attract attention, Inquisitor. Her spies would see you coming. A single agent may slip in and out without notice. This crystal may yield great rewards. Right, simple. Dagna, any chance it'll work? Oh, there's always a chance. I mean, yes. If there's a rift growing between Corypheus and Calpurnia, we must exploit it. I'll have the crystal ready soon. I think. Have we smuggled well, the other memory crystal into Calpurnia's camp? We have. Here. Ugh. Even honey can't sweeten Philandris. I'll keep trying. You are no slave, Linnea. I'll add another spoonful myself. Later. Yeah, she remembers slavery? Calpurnia seems to be treating her new acolytes kindly. While I found that interesting, this is what you must hear. Master, forgive me. I didn't expect. The time for your ascension nears. Tell me of your preparation. They go well enough, although I'm distracted here. If I could train at the shrine. Only Dumont's faithful may enter. Continue as before, or would you see the Imperium's rebirth stalled by your lack of focus? I will be ready, as the vessel, and to Vinter's champion. Uh, more vessel talk, eh? Huh? does becoming the vessel involve? Another deflection. Why, a dwarf and bauble, as if mine was miraculously returned to me. Let's give your new owner a glimpse of her fate. Venatori, we leave. That is all the crystal recorded before she found it. But I think it may be enough. A shrine to Dumat, Corypheus said. Where Calpurnia is forbidden to go. Yeah, who the fuck is Dumat? Corypheus mentioned. An old god, worshipped in ancient Tevinter as the Dragon of Silence. He was the first to rise as an archdemon and bring the blight. Truly a god fit for Corypheus. Yeah, fucking he's hiding something. Corypheus will be on guard once Calpurnia tells him we were listening. I wonder. She may wish to see what we do first. She must realize he's hiding something from her. Let us investigate this shrine. Carefully. I doubt Corypheus has left it unguarded.
All right, we still got to get that one. baby. Yips. more memory crystals. Corypheus was recording his thoughts. The anchor has been stolen by a stripling. I shall descend on this haven with fire and fury and take it back. Let us see what manner of peril this age has bred.
Come on. the old verses, how easily they come even after so long a slumber. Yet still I do not feel the presence of Dumont. Hear no whispers, no command. Silence has fallen. This age stands such desolation. They sing to a maker who answers no prayers. Once I have ascended, I will be their answer. I will be their light. prepares to set foot in the place where regret dwells to bring it into the light. She cannot know what must be done, cannot understand in time she will forgive.
siehst du Nirsinebar? He came down in fire and splendor. Chapter 9, verse 1. That's a spell of containment, a powerful one. What is this? Who are you? Magister Eresthenes, am I a scholar of Tevinter? To Corypheus, I am bound to answer every question. Yes, <laughs> 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 Eresthenes, I am lost. Corypheus did this to you, on Calpurnia's behalf. She knows not how to I am a ruin, the jeweled husk when the butterfly leaves. I was the greatest scholar of the old gods in Minrathus. No, in the Imperium. One night, he came to my door. For my relics, I thought, my writings and runes, but instead, my slave went to his side, Calpurnia, to become the vessel and save Tivinta. If Calpurnia is this vessel, what are the contents going to be? I do not know. It must be some sort of Power, power like Ethemil's, risen in flame. <laughs> Is that why Calpurnia joined Corypheus? To save your empire? Yes, she seeks a leader, Corypheus, to shape Tevinter's rebirth. <laughs> she would raise up the slaves as, as she was raised, bring a new order with, with a Heart of steel, she could do it if she were not the vessel. If Calpurnia is the one Corypheus wanted, why do this to you? For practice, I, Corypheus, crafts a vessel for whatever power he seeks. Yes, but he does not need his vessel to have free will about her. These same chains will fall. I am to cage lightning. My binding is the poor pencil sketch. Campania will be the masterpiece. Power without free will. That's her role as the vessel. Yoked like a canary mage, a cerebus, a circumscribed sycophant. Oh. This chain has broken me, friend. No wings can raise my mind. Please, breach the circle. Its wards will trigger. I will be dust and light, free. Or it will kill us. Corypheus is not above placing such a trap. Corypheus' circle will hold its destruction within. Tight, tight. No fear, only freedom. and you've suffered enough. Light a lamp, would you, Calpurnia? Everything's... dark.
The reports from our agents at the shrine are intriguing. You were correct. Once Calpenia becomes the vessel, she will lose her freedom. Forgive me, but I wish you hadn't been so quick to throw the Enspelled Magister away. Erasthenes was suffering. He'd already told me everything. We can never be certain now. Corypheus's notes mention a place where regret dwells. That is more of a mystery. Until the notes are deciphered, I intend rumors of the binding ritual to reach Carpania's ears. Breaking her alliance with Corypheus can only help us. Breaching his sanctum might give Corypheus pause, yet Carpania is silent, as are her agents. We have given her something to think about. 